Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power of square root of 3 and 3. And we're going to find out which number is larger. I'll be presenting one method even though we'll talk about some different alternatives. So we have a very interesting number. First of all 2 to the power square root of 3 is that an irrational number? Is that a transcendental number? So on and so forth. There's a lot of things we can talk about. But let's go ahead and see how we can compare these. I'm going to start with a claim and then kind of show you how we can prove that claim. So we're comparing 2 to the power root 3 and 3. So we're going to start with root 3. I do need to compare it to a rational number. Square root of 3, as you know, is irrational. But we can compare it to a rational number. So my claim is that square root of 3 is greater than 8 over 5. Do you agree? Okay, let's see what happens. Now, obviously, this uh, claim needs to be proved. And here's what we can do. First of all, think about what is 8 over 5, right? 8 over 5 is 1.6, exactly, right? And square root of 3, you probably know it's 1.7 something. But that's not good enough. Let's go ahead and really find out what that is equal to. Well, if you're square rooting a number, like if you're trying to approximate it, think about some perfect square that's close to 300. Why did I say 300? Because if you can approximate square root of 300, that will be 10 root 3, and we can easily adjust it. Make sense? So, and the number that's kind of close to 300, there's actually two numbers. One of them is 324, and the other one is 289. As you hopefully know, this is 18 squared, and this is 17 squared. By the way, 289 seems a little closer. Let's go with that. So how can I use this information? Because 289 is 17 squared, 2.89 would be 1.7 squared. Make sense? In other words, if you square root 2.89, that's going to give you exactly 1.7. Nice. And since 3 is greater than that number, which means square root of 3 is going to be greater than square root of 2.89, because 3 is greater than 2.89, and obviously this implies that the square root of 3 is greater than 1.7. Okay, great. We just were trying to prove that square root of 3 is greater than 1.6. We got a better uh, bound. Uh, and obviously 1.7 is greater than 1.6. So again, by using the transitive property, it just follows. Make sense? Okay, cool. So this basically shows that square root of 3 is greater than 8 over 5, which I wrote as 1.6. Now there's obviously another way to prove this. Let me also show you that. That's, that's what I meant by alternatives, by the way. Think about it this way. 64 is less than 75, isn't it? And if you take the square root of both sides, then this inequality is still true, right? So, and when is this not true? You can think about it. For which numbers this is not going to be true. And I'm always talking about positive numbers in this case, because they have to be positive, right? And square root of 64 is 8. And 75 can be broken down into 25 times 3, so we can write it as... 5 root 3. Awesome. If you divide both sides by 5, what are you going to get? You're going to get 8 over 5 is less than root 3, which means square root of 3 is greater than 8 over 5. So that's just another way to look at this inequality, which is what we're going to use for our problem. Now the question is though, how does this connect to 2 to the power root 3 and 3? Good. You probably guessed it. I'm going to use this in the exponent. So since root 3 is greater than 8 over 5, this basically implies that 2 to the power root 3 is greater than 2 to the power 8 over 5. But what does that have to do with 3, right? How can I make that transition? So that's what I need to do. From the power of 2, I need to go to the power of 3. This is where knowing some powers comes in handy. If you do know that 2 to the 8th power is 256, and that is greater than 243, which happens to be 3 to the 5th power. Awesome. This shows that 2 to the 8th is greater than 3 to the 5th. Let's rewrite it. Rewriting these things will actually help you 
uh, with problem solving. And now, remember, I was trying to compare a power of 2 to a power of 3, but notice that here I have 2 to the power 8 over 5, and I have the 8 and the 5 here. Notice what we need to do? Raise both sides to the power 1 fifth, or take the fifth root of both sides. Either way, you're going to get the same thing, and this is going to give us what we need. In other words, we get 2 to the power 8 over 5 is greater than 3. Awesome. That's good because now we have this comparison, which implies this comparison, and then we can kind of go ahead and put the 3 on the right-hand side, and that actually concludes the solution. Make sense? So we basically showed that 2 to the power root 3 is greater than 2 to the power 8 over 5, and 2 to the power 8 over 5 is greater than 3. So as a conclusion, we can safely say that 2 to the power root 3 is greater than 3. We were trying to look for the greater number or just compare these two numbers, and this would be the answer. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values, and then we're going to conclude the video with that. Okay? Let's see what happens. Here we go. And at this point, you already know 2 to the power root 3 is greater than 3. And it's actually approximately 3.322. You can route it any way you want, but that's what it looks like. Definitely much bigger than 3. We could probably find a better approach or get closer with some other numbers. But anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment like and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.